On the AP bio list uh, last night, there was a request for some help on trying to get leaf disc to sink for the floating leaf disc assay. And uh, I presented some ideas of why their disc might not have sunk. And I thought, well, I'll produce a short little video that kind of summarizes the whole procedure of the leaf disc assay. For Need a syringe that has a good seal. Notice that when I pull out the plunger, when I have the end sealed, the plunger comes back. That's mean, that means we have a good vacuum going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the leaf disc that I've cut out of this ivy. It really doesn't matter whether you're using spinach or ivy. This, the procedure is the same. In fact, it's easier to get spinach leaves to sink because they uh, don't have as much wax, uh, much of a waxy cuticle. So I'm going to put 10 disc in here. And then we add the plunger. Notice I don't squish the disc. I don't, don't put the plunger in so far that I damage the disc. And now I'm going to pull up my infiltration solution, only about two or three centimeters. And I notice I've given it a little bit of a click around to saturate the, or at least wet all the leaf surface. Oops, I forgot to put the soap in there. Well, that's even better. Let's see if they'll sink without the soap. Okay, so I'm going to try to see if I can get these to sink without the soap. Before I do, let's get rid of that bubble there. So I'm going to vertically orient this till I get just a little bit of water out of there. Now this works a little bit better. Now I've got this suspended between my fingers. I've got my thumb over the end. I'm going to use this thumb to help pull this down and look at that. Okay. Shake it around a little bit. And then let this go. And look at that, didn't even need to add soap. Soap is sometimes critical and sometimes not. But this time I didn't need it, so it worked really well. So this one's ready to go. Dump this out by, and they're all in there. It's ready to now put underneath light. Okay, we're at the six and a half minutes and I just swirled it there a minute ago because I don't we want to make sure that the leaf disc actually don't stick to the sides of the plastic and you'll notice that we're almost to seven minutes and when we get to seven minutes we will have three disc floating at least maybe more because there are, I got about 15 more seconds here so we may have quite a few come up in this period of time there was one floating at the end of six minutes Yeah, here's some more coming up. Oh, there's seven minutes. Okay. At the end of seven minutes, we have five discs floating, and I give it a little swirl. And I'm going to guess that by the time we get to eight minutes, they'll all be floating. Another good reason to swirl them around a little bit is to keep them from sticking to each other, which they sometimes do. All right, that's eight minutes, and what do we have up there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven are floating at the end of eight minutes. Okay, we're coming up on nine minutes. At the end of nine minutes, we have all but one floating. 